Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to sync your sounds with animation. For example, if you have an attack animation, when the player swings the sword, the swing sound should play. If you just use audio source dot play, then the sound will play before the sword swings. So you need to attach the sound with the animation clip so that it plays exactly at the point you want it to play. So let's see. We have a cube that we used in our previous tutorial. So when I play the game, the cube rotates, then it moves slowly and then moves very fast. So I want to play the sound when the cube transitions between slow movement and fast movement. To do that, select the cube, go to animation window, select the animation that you want the audio, uh, where you want to add the audio clip and then click on this symbol. This is the add event. So before clicking, make sure that you select the time where you want the audio to start playing. So I, I want it to start playing here. So I'll click on add event. So you can see there's a blue arrow added here, a small line added here. I can select this. Now I can select the function that I want. So the cube is not having any function. So that's why I'm not able to see it. So next thing is go to cube. And if you don't have a script, then attach a script to cube. So I'm going to use the same script from the last tutorial. So let's go to the script and we already have the audio source and we have got the audio source component. So next thing you have to do is to make a public function. So let's make public void uh, play sound. Now inside this function, let's play the sound. Now click on the animation event and select the play sound function. Now when you play the game, the cube rotates and the sound plays exactly when the cube starts to move forward. So this is how you can sync your animation, uh, sync your sound with your animation. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.